Just a couple shards left. The quarry's gotta have one, right? Imagine everything you'd need to build a city like Ceylandia. It takes hard work and planning, and it also takes Burstone Quarry. The Ura tunnels beneath the quarry must have softened the blow from the calamity. Same goes for its natives, Rattletails. Why would the Ura put up with those pests? Rattletails ain't the worst of it either, but more about that in a little bit. But there was even more to it than that. Not only are these rocks a source of life, we found that the oldest ones remember things. They're recording everything, all the time, taking it all in. No wonder all those beasts were drawn to the quarry. The rocks were calling them. Keeping the quarry free from pests turned out to be a problem. Rattletails kept tunneling in the snack on windbags. Without those windbags, the quarry might not have its special qualities. Even stink eyes started taking root in here. Now why would the Ura sell off such a fascinating place? The Ura always were a superstitious lot. Might be the gods told him the quarry's bad news. In any case, it's fair to say the quarry was a godsend. Those rocks, all polished to a mirror sheen. The largest ones, you know as cores. A single core could keep the lights on in an entire city district. The smaller ones, we call them shards. The shards got a fraction of a core's power, enough to fuel a voyage to the motherland. Well, now the quarry's all dried up. These rocks are much too young to be of use. Remember how I said Rattletails ain't the worst thing in the quarry? That honor goes to a beast we took to Colin, Sir Lunky. 
massive thing stomped many of our boys. We just couldn't get rid of him. We never could get stubborn old Lunky to leave the quarry alone. The only thing harder than the rocks in Burstone Quarry is Sir Lunky's head. Then the kid hears a voice calling from down the hall. Are you all right? It says. It's him. I've come to warn you, he says. The bastion is under siege. Let it fall. You should not go back. Kid hears him, but he ain't about to be deterred. If that's the way it is, he says, then I won't stop you. Because my countrymen will. Say what you will about Zolf but he's a man of his word. His countrymen don't much care for pleasantries, though. Too bad for that. Zolf showed him the way here. And here they came to take revenge. They got inside the bastion and shut the door. Kids gotta go in through the back. I should have told them sooner about all this. Unfortunately, they broke in, and they started digging their holes. Something wrong sprung out of those holes, and it's eaten away at this place. We tried to stop them, but we needed help. Somehow, some way, he sends those who are a packing. Problem is, it didn't matter. Zolf's plan worked. We find each other as the dust settles. Then I tell him why the Ura came. To get us back for the calamity. It was Ceylandia's master plan to wipe the Ura out. But part of that plan backfired, didn't it? If only Zolf knew the whole story. 
What were we to think? They must have got her. Taken her back to her rightful home. The shards can put this disease in remission, but there's only one cure. We need to finish what we started. Seems the gods recommended this place to all their friends. Now all we need is one last shard. Arrows like that can practically find their own way. The Mercy. The Windbags ain't the only beast that drew a bad lot. The Sanctuary. If we can build, we can rebuild. The Conscience. We haven't lost everything, as long as we have that. Suppose it's true a little song can put things in perspective. The Ura swooped down from the east. At least now we know the way. One last shard. It's all we need to put this mess behind us. And mother, what a mess it is. A mess like that could have only been made by hand. Zolf said the calamity failed, and he's right. The Ura stand as living proof of that. At the heart of the calamity was a simple idea. We never wanted to go to war again. Wanted to rule it out. We put a lot of folks against that problem. Scientists, soldiers, spies, even me. We sought solutions far beyond the city. We traveled near as far as the kids going right now. Most of our efforts didn't bear fruit. Then there was a breakthrough, but it didn't come from one of our people. scientist named Venn. Venn worked for the Mansers, the sharpest knives in the city's drawer. With his help, the Mansers devised a way to seal the Ura tunnels shut in a flash. Just like that, 
Every last era living in the Tassel Terminals will be gone. This discovery was never to be used, they said, except as a last resort. But Van didn't like being manipulated. He had plans of his own. Sabotage the Manson's little science project, set it to blow up in their faces. Imagine how Van must have felt when they finally made him pull that trigger. But remember, the Bastion can fix everything. We just need that shard. We're lucky to be alive. Too bad the Ura ain't exactly been willing to collaborate on that front. For now, Kid had little choice but to pick up where the Calamity left off. First things first, though. There's someone we figured needed rescuing. Zia. Laura fell back. No doubt planning the next move, but we knew ours already. There's something we had to do before going after that last shard. Well, now it's personal, ain't it? It's personal for him, and it's personal for me. He is straight down to business. They never saw him coming. He gets his hands on the care package I sent him. It's a little something I've been fixing up in my spare time. Lara found a way to keep the Calamity from spreading through Sultan's Hollow. They got their own security and everything. Pretty fancy.
Breaking over those things and the Calamity Rocks slink back into the ground. They've got these conductors that are all what's keeping the place together. Well, the Ura must be in a panic right about now. They even sick their little rattletail pets on the kid. By now, every Ura from here to the terminals must know he's in town. Most of the Earth's conductors are squared away in the middle of the hollow. Those Calamity Rocks must be eating that place apart from the inside. The Ura keep hanging on to their barricade. After all, their homeland's not much farther. Some of them are downright bewildered by what's happening. Maybe they know they've lost this. Lost to a kid. They underestimated us. Had us pegged all wrong. Yes, our people caused the calamity, but here we are trying to fix it. That makes us different from our people now, don't it? Shame the opportunity for civilized discourse is over. Suppose old Zolf should have got to know us better. Maybe I should have trusted him, told him everything I knew. As the hour grows desperate, they are bring out their big guns. There's nothing standing in his way no more. He sees the Tazzle Terminal loom large on the horizon. Way out there on the edge of the world, that's where he finally finds you. But it ain't like Prosper Bluff this time. Ain't nothing for this gal to sing about now. Zia, you weren't kidnapped. No, ma'am. You just had to see what happened to the Ura. To your own people.
You had to see if everything Zolf wrote to you was true. Fix that thing right up, didn't we? Made these goings on a little livelier. Sure you didn't drop that twangy thing on purpose? Just to see if he go after you. They lost everything, didn't they? But they just keep on fighting like that's gonna bring it all back. Don't need to see what happened to the Ura. I'm trying to undo it, remember? Once the kid gets that last shard from Zolf, it'll all be over. She's all the pieces now, but still looking good. I can't hear him at all anymore. He's too far away. He'll be all right. Just needs to get that shard from Zolf and come on home. The calamity hit the Tazzle terminals hardest of all. You know why Zolf went back there. All his old friends and family were there. Taken by the Calamity. Zolf must be there all alone, just waiting. You know what's funny? All we can do is sit and talk. Well? All of us are waiting for a kid. There's not much left to do here in the Bastion, I'm afraid. So why not tell each other stories to pass the time, right? There's another reason I've been telling you all this. There's something I want you to understand. When the kid brings back that shard, the bastion will be complete. This disease the earth planted here will go away. What happens to Zolf will no longer matter.
Ceylandia will be whole again. Everything will be back to normal. We're not gonna die. It's more like... All of this will just stop. Things will go back to the way they used to be. That's the power of the Bastion. This whole place is a living record of the times before the Calamity. You'd be your old self again. Think of all those times that didn't go your way. Everything you've ever done, you could do it over. And wouldn't that be grand? Wouldn't you agree? Well... I guess there's nothing more to say. something else. A confession. How come I know so much about the Bastion? Well, I designed the place, but that's beside the point. There's one problem with a place that sets things back to a bygone time. You can't test it.
So you're probably wondering if the calamity happened already. You follow me? What's to stop it from happening again after the Bastion does its thing? The answer is... I don't know. You're wondering if there ain't some other way out of this mess. It's all right. I can tell. But why would you even want another way? Unless... Unless you wanted to stay here... with us. Well, that's sweet and all, but... I don't know if I can stick around. The weight of the calamity. It's on our shoulders. We can't just let it go. Bastion does have another function, strictly speaking. If ever the monument blew out, and we couldn't repair it, we could still... Evacuate. First, we'd round up as many folks as we could carry. Next, we'd detonate the cores, and we'd take off away from here. Of course, that would mean no going back. Ever. But then again, that way all of us could leave the city together. You know, Zolf and his countrymen won't be giving up that shard without a fight, don't you? Zulf and the Ura. All they want now is to see the Bastion fall. Zulf dedicated his life to a lasting peace between the Ura and Ceylandia. He can't have imagined the city would try to wipe the Earth out. Zolf ain't lost every shred of decency though, has he? He tried to warn you about his plans. He tried to warn the kid. For 
resolve this ain't a personal matter. For sure, the era can't be happy that the kid followed Zolf all the way home. I can see it now. The kid in one corner, and Zolf in the other. Ain't much of a fight. Don't you worry, though. Once the Bastion's restored, it'll all be alright. You ain't still thinking about that whole leaving the city thing, are you? Kids probably dealt with off by now. It reminds me of myself when I was his age. I ever tell you about those days? Hey, kid. Get up, kid. Come on, that ain't funny. I say get up. Ha! 
That's more like it. Now, set that shard into the monument there. Then we'll talk. The Bastion. It's finally finished. Now, there's something I want you to see. Welcome to the heart of the Bastion. I ain't one for long goodbyes, so here's the deal. Zia and I figure you done the heavy lifting, so you get to do the honors. We can tell you how to work this thing if you got any questions. Hey, kid. You can undo the calamity here and now. Go on, kid. And before I forget, thank you. Always wondered what the motherland was like. Not that it matters anymore. Zolf only brought more ruin to the Ura. No wonder they didn't take kindly to him. You've got one thing left to do. So you hang on to that badge. Besides, you earned it. Don't let anything you've done get to you. You can save all those creatures here and now. You made it. So, let's see. You can either prevent the Calamity, or stick around with me and Rex. I'd hate to be in your shoes. If I could be any place I wanted, I'd stay right here. We could go anywhere in the world. Zolf tried to talk me into joining him. I tried to talk him out of it. I guess we both failed. When I finally found my people, I told them we could help. They just took me for a traitor. Glad you showed up. Any moment I'd want to live again, happened after the Calamity, not before. It's finished. Now, sit tight. It'll be over soon. No matter what happens next, you're done good. I suppose all that's left is to try and remember this moment. The Bastion's gonna take us back to a better time, before any of this. My people will forget everything you've done, and each other. Though after all we've been through, I find that hard to believe. So long, kid. Maybe I'll see it in the next one.
Zealandia. We're coming home.